Everybody was kung fu fighting. <clears throat> Those cats were fast as a lightning. Yeah. Ha! Ha! Him and him. No. Here we are. What? Hi. What's going on? I'm Tony D. This is the Zero Dark Tony Show. I am your host. Welcome from the pineapple to the big apple from Maine to Spain. I know you are here and we have an international crowd of a sort, right? Let me know where you are viewing from. If you have not checked in this chat before and you are lurking in the weeds, please let us do me a favor, darling. Hit that like button. Hit the like button, all right? Because today... We have something that has been brewing for a while. We've got a lot of images of Mark Fisher. And um, hey, PA. Mark Fisher is a problem for SPTV. I'm going to show you also not only some of those disturbing images, but some direct quotes from some of his blogs. Now, again, some of the resources will be from Scientology-related Pages. But I'm going to show you that they're not lying. Okay? That's, you got that right. So today, Mark Fisher, come on down. the next contestant on. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the show. So good to see you. There I am. Let's go. Well, I don't see you, but I feel you. I gotta have it. I ain't even playing. Got a real bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a cast. The chat's open, Mark Fisher. Playing got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'm Come on down. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'm gonna stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rass in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got yep. gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. I need everybody to hit that like button and share this out with one of your SPTV friends. Why are they quiet about this? It's all positive here, baby. We just don't sugarcoat it. A spoonful of sugar helps that medicine go down. And I'm fresh out of sugar. Mark Fisher. You're the ace of spades today, Mark Fisher. You're my high value target. And if these people don't start talking about this, I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. 
They're weak. And they're complicit. And I'm fresh out of bubblegum. Hello! I'm your Huckleberry. That's just my game. Hit the like button. Someone's about to get ripped. Time to leave the internet. Time is now. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the show. Once again, this is the Zero Dark Tony channel. Got to take care of a little bit of that YouTube business. Super chats are on TTS right now, which means if you super chat, we're going to hear it in the voice of your choice. If you choose that route, if you would like to just regular super chat, we got those two. We have memberships, gifted memberships, super stickers, super thanks. And a merchandise thing going on in there with the store merch, merch, merch. I think I've taken care of all the YouTube business. Really, the best way to help this channel is share it. Like it, share it. Sharing it is great. Other metrics, not so much. Sharing it, fantastic. Okay? So, so that's YouTube saying, hey, these people are sharing it. This guy must be okay. He must be all right. And... Um, so many of you are starting to join me here. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you so much. 66 in the chat already. I mean, that's fantastic that people are starting to at least listen. Uh, thank you very much. Abe Froman, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget, Abe Froman is the sausage king of Chicago. Not the sausage prince, not the duke, not the, um, you know, anyway. He is what he is. Um, see him for sausage? Uh, maybe that's a bad. Okay, let's talk about something else. What I want to show you is the, the protection factor that this guy gets. Okay, oh, I forgot to do something. I got to load one more. I got to load one more channel here, guys. Hold on. I just gotta load one more page for everybody. Low money is better than no money, cause even with low money, you can still grow money. Yes, sir. Low money is better than no money, cause even with low money, you can still grow money. Yes, sir. You gotta eat, get money. New shoes for your feet, get money. You want a sense and a piece, get money. You want a party with the freaks, get money. I get money, get money, get money. I make gray skies turn real sunny. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the wrong button there. I got excited. But what's really funny is in one of these, <laughs> I went into the chat. I went into the chat in one of these lives. I'm looking at their peeling the onion thing because I got I forgot to load his channel, right? And uh, Karen's in there. And she's like, it, you know, she's like, get, Re get Remington out of there. Get Remington 6 out of there. Uh, Remington's channel is just one of the other channels I have in my back end. You know what I mean? He's, he's my homie. I also have a bunch of other, you know, channels. Look, if you look at them, you're going to see me, but I have other ideas. I have other things that I'm working on, other things I'm doing. So I have a couple of I'm not hiding. They're not sock accounts. They are all clearly me, you know, and jumping into these live streams. And Jeffrey just lost his, just lost his mind. So we're going to see a little bit of that today. Layla. Is this? Okay, so here's here's the problem with old Marky Mark here. All right. Uh, he's not part of the fun bunch. This is not feel the vibration. Okay, this is his website here. All right, this is from an archive, which 
is Bachelor Freedom Travel. Now, we connected him to Bachelor Freedom Travel, all right, through a particular LLC that you could CCC in... I'm going to put the link in the chat so you can see it for yourself and everybody can have it now because people should spread this around. Okay, so this is these are his blogs. Thailand is a Buddhist country. These are the five captures that we got from it, but we have some other quotes from some other sources that are a little deeper in this. People can always go in here and find it. It's back to 2007. All right. So he talks about the food, the elephants, the beautiful Thai girls. And here is his blog. Girls, 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 as Motley Crue likes to sing. Girls of all types. This, I just want to throw up when I'm reading this. <sighs> beautiful girls with friendly smiles who love to have a good time. Thailand is heaven on earth for single men. You can meet women in any bar or restaurant in Bangkok and within a short period of time, She will go out with you and end up in your hotel room. I'm sorry. This is this is more disgusting than any cursing that I could do, more disgusting than any F word that I could say. This is very difficult for me to read. I really feel sick right now. Ugh, gross. It's not even a question of if. In the U.S., if you walk up to a girl in a bar, good luck getting past your first question. Thai women love Western men. You don't even, <laughs> you don't even have to be good looking. If you have good personal hygiene and are friendly and have a good heart, Thais say jadi, then they will go out with you. Of course, you may have you may have to pay them at first to join you. <laughs> this motherfucker. Um, you may have to pay them to join you, but it is a small amount compared to the hundreds of dollars you would spend on a date in the U.S. For $50, you will have the time of your life. Mark Fisher. Let's go a little further. Thai foot massage. $1.99, Abe Froman. <laughs> yes, ASL bots hate me mentioning his booger. He loves the booger sugar. The Coke habit. Oh, honey. Man, 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 man with the booger sugar. Imagine being an adult with a freaking fentanyl epidemic. I've had friends pass away from that in the past few years. And he's like... People are doing that drug. Anyway, I don't condone. Used to. I used to, well, I didn't really like it. I just really liked the way that it used, you know, it, it smells very good. Anyway, thank you so much, Abe Frobin, with that super chat. Here it comes. You got the fireworks. Do I have to move that alert up for it to... All right, glitch in the TTS. I don't know. Sorry. We read it. I read it, which is way better. That The British guy who's doing the voice, I think he's, he's passed out. He's, you know. All right, so Thai foot massage. I told you to bring a barf bag. Uh, so, again, I think this is going to be his sound. Mark Fisher. The Mark Fisher blog. These are their stories. <laughs> the Bolivian marching powder. I schedule, listen to this in his blog, I schedule my day around my foot massages in Thailand. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I, I look, I'm sorry. 
I apologize. This is not mine. Okay, I didn't write this. This is this guy's. It's creepy. It's disgusting. I feel sick to my stomach. See, Abe, we'll catch you in a little while. Thanks. You can get a one-hour foot massage. Includes neck and shoulders, too, for $6 per hour. There is no better way to get rid of stress, in my opinion. Coded speak. The foot massage places are all over Thailand and well worth the visit. I guarantee if you go once, you will go again and again. <sighs> so this is this LLC, 2008. Land of Smiles, LLC. And here, you know, there's the information from the website. And that is what was connected to him. Now... Uh, talking about the relationship that Jeffrey Augustine has with him, this video is from nine years ago, okay? This video is from nine years ago. This is Jeffrey Augustine talking with Mark Fisher. Jeffrey Augustine has known Mark Fisher for almost a decade, if not more. Why is Jeffrey Augustine gatekeeping information about this scumbag from his community? Why are Karen and Jeffrey, because Karen runs Jeffrey with the electric collar thing, I think it's called. Anyway, it, he, I don't know whether he has some electroshock um, anal beads or something that she controls him with. But um, she runs him, too. And for the super chat, thank you so much, Jeanette Alesquaz, for the $2. Oh, ooh, making me horror. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. So I'm going to say that again. Jeffrey Augustine has been gatekeeping this information from his own community. He knows. My question is, Jeffrey, have you ever been to Thailand? Does Jeff talky Thai? Jeff talky Thai real good? Or have you ever used any of Mark's websites for anywhere that you've gone, Jeffrey? I mean, these are just questions that I would ask you. You know, because these are the hard questions that one would need to answer when you're saying that you're protecting a community, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Augustine, right next to Mark Fisher, the participant in the uh, trafficking of a sexual nature of what will appear to be questionably aged individuals. You're a pig, Mark. And when people see this, you could call it Osa all you want, my man. People already know that I'm not it, okay? People are here that know, that thought that I was and have figured it out because you know why? They're discerning, they're smart. Even Kelly Copter said yesterday in her own video that I am not Osa. She also said I'm not nice, okay? And she also didn't mention my video. She said to go to the, to the Michelle Carpenter one. Okay, she mentioned me. She mentioned the truth. She said I'm not nice and that I attack people. I clap back. It feels like an attack because they don't expect it, okay? Bing, all right? Now, next time, give me a little more love, Kelly Copter. She, she just turned 29 years old. So I can't really fault her that much, you know. Kelly Copter has every advantage there is in the world as a woman, okay? So let's just, she is pretty, you know, she's, she's a little bit British, little, you know, her looks, it's a little bit, she's got a little bit of the, not as bad, as Alex the Prostate, who she did slam a little bit, which I did like. However, all right, um, 
Kelly Copter is, uh, she's the next one, I think, who's going to bring out, um, bring out the, the, the stuff, bring out the things, you know, bring out the, um, best food. Yeah. The whole OSA thing. That's what, that's what, this is what Mark Fisher is going to say. This is OSA. It's a OSA operation. Honey, they already know. They've heard the record. You dumbasses in your community have lost, between all of you, about 15,000 subscribers. I've gained, like, 500 in the past. I've gained 500 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen, in the past, you know. You know, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I took a lot of hits in, and a lot of, you know, you know what happened. I don't need to sit here and blow my own horn or, but, you know, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but, <laughs> hey, I couldn't resist. I earned every one, and I'm glad people are here. And they do. They use the Scientology tactics, everything. And we are going to get in some whistle into some whistleblowers over the next couple days that give testimonies that are going to blow your mind. And was quite different from what it became. Yeah. Okay, so you're in the Sea Org. You've had your past lives acknowledged, and now you're ready to serve the group. So you're at Flag Land Base, right? And what kind of you know you met uh, Greg will mm -hmm. Sandy will 120 when in the you chat. Thank you very much. Gavin. Well, Thank here's you. the thing. I, I graduated high school in June 1976, and within I w was planning within the next four weeks to go down to Clearwater. So right now, if the goal is to get people out of Scientology, and quite honestly, I gotta be honest with you, Scientology, the actual Church of Scientology, hasn't bothered me at all. Okay, because I have a problem with these people. Because they're still independent Scientologists. They're like a they're like a bad spin-off TV show. You know what I mean? After July, Fourth of July, it was uh, the bicentennial. Hey, listen. SPT Scott. SPT Scott. That's fine. I'm not I don't <laughs> you gotta understand, man. To me, that's a success. You don't have to apologize. You know what I mean? You don't have to apologize. That's a success for me. Is that you're here? Look, um, that's why they call themselves influencers. I don't call. Don't ever, please, don't ever call me an influencer. I want nothing to do with that shit. But they do. They call themselves influ. They think they're influencers, but they are influential with their fear mongering, like the way Mike Rinder holds it over everyone's head like a hammer and protects this scumbag. July 4th, They're all protecting him. Do you know that they've all known him for over a decade? And look at this. They know what kind of creep he is. They know that he's going over and, you know. Six. Um, I remember it. Yeah, and then right after that holiday weekend, I flew down to uh, Clearwater, Florida. And uh, as soon as I got there, I, I went down there under the intentions of becoming an auditor, a trained auditor down at Flag. But as soon as I got there, I was intercepted because I was I was only 18 years old uh, by the Commodore's Messenger Organization. And that's, that's the organization that was set up that were actual people that worked directly for L. Ron Hubbard, you know, that, that handled his traffic, his, his um, you know. All He's telling how he got very deep inside the hierarchy of Scientology at the time he was there. Now they say he claims to have been David Miscavige's right-hand man, which means, you know, him and Rinder, he and Rinder know each other, let's just say. All of his personal needs, and I, and I was of. They were all teenagers, and I was of that age. So I would say, listen, would you like to go work for L. Ron Hubbard and be in the Commodore's Messenger organization? L. Ron Hubbard was the Commodore. He was the head of the C organization. And you got to ask yourself, why are they scared to talk about this stuff? Kelly Copter and Poe, that Poe guy. He's like, oh, I don't get into that. They don't get into it. They want all the benefits. They want all the benefits but they ain't willing to get in there and scrap to get them because this is Sparta, bitch. Okay? That's what it is. The truth survives in this 
world. In Scientology, they don't even know what it is. These people were raised in a, listen, they were raised in a dimension of lies. Okay? That was what got them their rewards. Lies to get the whatever uh, commissions. Lies to rope people into Scientology. Lies to hide what Scientology really was to people because they knew. This is like somebody who who is, who is, uh, uh, has like a, a father who's like a pool shark. What do you think that kid's gonna do? You think he's gonna be bad at pool? No. Their daddy was L. Ron F. And Hubbard. Their daddy was Mike Rinder. Mike Rinder was daddy because Mike Rinder made the rules or else. I said, absolutely. I mean, that's, I mean, that was my dream at that point. I was like, L. Ron Hubbard. I mean, he was a God to me. You know what I mean? He was like, yes, I raised my voice. You could turn, look, you could turn the headset down. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> He's changing, you know, history. I, I absolutely, the closer I can be to him, the better. So I was trained, I was traded immediately. And, and, uh, so I was brought up to the, uh, um, up to the, I think it was the ninth floor or the 10th floor. I think it was the ninth floor of the Fort Harrison hotel. And that's where all the Commodore's messengers, uh, lived in dormitories. And I was brought into my dormitory and my, my roommate at the time was David Miscavige. Wow. So let me get this straight. 1976. It's July. Okay. That is important. Ivor. I want you guys to see this. Okay. Aaron blocked me on Twitter because I brought up Fisher. Wow. That's disgusting. Aaron Smith Levin blocked Ivor on Twitter because he brought up Fisher. That is a problem. That is a problem. That is a major, major problem. Ivor, can you can you take a screenshot and pop it up there and tag me in it? Because I'll show it right now on Twitter if you'll do that. Aaron, who has daughters, can sit there and look at those pictures. Aaron Smith Levin. What are you afraid of, Aaron? Or who are you afraid of, Aaron? Huh? Who are you afraid of? Sorry about that. There, I sort of. That's very disturbing. I honestly think the fallout, Mandy Bishop says. I honestly think the fallout with ASL and the rest of the people taking sides is what leading their audience here. Well, th this is where they're, you're going to get the truth, unbiased, <laughs> straight no chaser, baby. That's what we're going to get here. And I, I wasn't, I was saying that in general, Mandy. I was not calling you baby. I would not do that to a female member of my audience. So don't get the wrong idea. It was just a generalization. I want to make that clear. I'm such a misogynist. So, I'm sorry, toots. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am kidding. I'm kidding, sweet tits. I mean, I can't help it, all right? I can't help making jokes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you I so much. I honestly think the fallout with ASL and the rest and people taking sides is what is leading their audience here. Woman shrugging. Okay, I figured out how to fix the alerts. So, my apologies earlier, but there you go. It's true. I mean, Aaron. He's not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything. He's not going to. He's not going to do anything. He is not going to do anything about it. Um, yeah, I forgot I had this. Uh, hold on. Let me get my window capture off because. I don't want to go onto my other screen there. Pixlr, Gmail, oh, X, okay. 
I keep forgetting it. I still cannot get over that it's not Twitter, and I keep seeing X, and I'm like, what the hell is that? Am I getting porn bombed? All right, here we go. Wow. Wow, this is pretty effed up and disturbing, in my opinion. So this is from Ivor. Ivor uh, just sent this to me. He was blocked when he mentioned Mark. Now, I haven't even shown you the really disturbing part because that's coming up, okay? I haven't even shown you the real sauce that I have here, okay? You've just gotten like some, uh, like a, like a, like some, some disco biscuits that we got. This is a disco biscuit, but this is disturbing because Jeffrey Augustine also is, it's, it's, okay, so Karen is, an, is auditing people and charging for it. Jeffrey is a psycho PI who is abusing his license to stalk people like me, get personal information, try and dox me and shut me up with fair gaming techniques. Who is also protecting a guy he knows damn well is involved with brothels that traffic young individuals for uh, Americans to come over. They also get bonuses. They get maybe like a day or two off a year. They get bonuses to bring other girls in. I've been researching some of this, okay? And you could go onto YouTube. There is a guy who has a YouTube channel that talks about uh, American men and their exploits in Thailand. I was go I, I, I started to look at some of it, and, you know, we're going to get into that in another um, episode. Thank you so much. Abe... Yes, well, you know, that's what your guys that's what your voice is for, guys, is that if you speak up about it, then it will be heard. You know? It will be heard. Liz Gale? Fuck her. Fuck her. She's garbage. She is garbage. Sorry, she's garbage. Don't ever, ever, ever fucking promote her in my fucking chat again. Okay? Don't ever fucking promote her fucking chat. Don't promote anyone else's goddamn chat while I'm live. Okay? And the only reason I'm staying is because of this super chat and the last one that I got from Abe. Okay? Are you out of your goddamn mind? You know what? You are going to be in a timeout for a little while. You out of your fucking mind? Stupid. You're at Flag Land Base. The Commodore, L. Ron Harbor, is still very large and in charge. He's alive. Mm -hmm. You, you're... Liz Gale is forbidden and blocked forever from this channel and chat. Okay? She's been abusive to me, to Dana. Ain't gonna effing happen. No more. Smiley face. Okay? Person shrugging. Man shrugging. Crying face. Person shrugging. Man shrugging. Crying face. Okay? Liz Gale is a parasite. roommate is David Miscavige of all people yeah and he had just he had just joined a month before because while I was graduating high school in June 1976 he was dropping out at the age of 16 and he was a high school dropout and he couldn't wait they thought I was Mersh Ugh. do you understand how disgusting that is to think I'm Mersh it's hilarious Jesus Christ. Liz Gale is one of the people that started this shit. <laughs> and now she's seen the light. She can suck uh, my balls, okay? Wait to finish to get 60. And she was like, oh, you better. Uh, when I got my new Twitter, she was like, oh, you're a big baby. You're going to block me again? Go ahead, block me. I was like, fuck yeah. Boom, block you, bitch. Loser. 
Oh, she is like one of the pigs of all pigs, man. She is like... She is such a clout chaser. She sucked that freaking aftermath dick all this time. Oh, they're so great. Look at you. What are you? She doxed me. She doxed Dana. She doxed all of us. So you, Amy, can get the fuck out of here. Actually, I'm going to hide you from the channel. And you can blow me, okay? And your membership will go to someone else because I believe it was gifted. And I don't give a F if it was or not. God damn it. Are you kidding me, Liz goddamn Gale? You're going to come in here and talk about that? Dumbass. You better check the you better check the record. <sighs> Did I swear? <laughs> I'm sorry. See, I just I went blank for a second there. I checked out. I'm back. I'm here. Sorry. She's just timed out for a little while. I just had to, I just had to get, up, get off on Liz Gale. Liz Gale didn't even earn a cum towel. Just remember that, okay? She didn't even get a cum towel because ain't no cum around her, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So it's cool, Amy. You just, you just set something off. You triggered me, okay? It's hard to do. It's hard to do, but you did it. Congratulations. We give her a hero's welcome when she comes back. Don't you ever mention Liz uh, Gale um, again. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. We needed a little palate cleanser there. So he could join the Sea Org. And so when I met him, he had just finished. Um, the first thing you do when you get to Some soothing frequency music, the, um, yes. EPF or I forget, States Project Force. and we. Okay, now here's what I'm going to do. You're going to see now. You know what is crazy is that. There is so much back catalog on Jeffrey's different channels and stuff like that. You know, he's got so much back catalog. So I'm going to put the link to this video in there. There is another part. So you could just listen to how uh, Mark lays out his introduction nine years ago and then go back and listen recently to when he talks to the other people on his channel, um, which is 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 it this one here i'm just gonna hold on a second one moment please thank you gotta get them dollars Say what? Say what? gotta get them dollars gotta get them dollars gotta get them dollars Low money is better than no money, cause even with low money, you can still grow money, yes sir. Low money is better than no money, cause even with low money, you can still grow money, yes sir. Gotta get them dollars. Say what? Gotta get them dollars. Say what? Gotta get them dollars. Say what? Gotta get them dollars. You gotta eat, get money. New shoes for your feet, get money. You want a sense in the peace, get money. I said it's okay. You want to party with the freaks, get money. I get money, get money. There you go. Money. I make great skies turn real. Oh, I like her. I like Amy. There you go. <laughs> there you go. See? You're fine. You're going to be fine. Uh, What am I looking at? Peeling the onion. Okay. So when you look at peeling the onion, you must have been gone when I said I, you just triggered me. But you'll, you could hear the playback. I addressed what happened, and I laughed and cried. It was a roller coaster ride. Oh, my God, no. Please don't make us listen to his dumb Hawaiian music. Oh, my God. Chad, Clearwater Chad, take the goddamn Hawaiian shirt off, Clearwater Chad, all right? And I'm going to do this for everybody. I need everybody to calm down, okay? I need you to calm down. And here's how I'm going to do it. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Tasty cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Yes, we uh, 
we don't talk about other lives. It's just pure etiquette. Everything is all right, and you're fine. Thank you. Now, let's look at peeling the onion, our Scientology stories. So, uh, well, you know, Clearwater Chad works much better than Buffalo Chad, and he's a big fella, so you don't want to call, you know, Buffalo Chad. I don't, he would have to be Buffalo Bill, and his name's not Bill, you know? <laughs> it would have to be, you know what I'm saying? It just, you have to work with it. Got to work with what you got, and that's what he's doing. Okay, so now look at this. On the Peeling the Onion channel, all right? Yeah, yeah, let her, let her in. She's fine. That's fine. There you go. Perfect. Um, so right here we have this guy, Sterling Tompkins, who also had Mark on his show. So two days ago, Sterling Tompkins, who looks like a total clout chasing D bag who just is another one who's trying to suck the teat of the pie that is no more. You understand? The SPTV aftermath pie is gone. All right? There isn't one anymore. Whatever promises were made to any of these creators, right? Uh, you can go to the, um, there should be a box in the upper left, or you could hit the, um, there's like a super chat uh, kind of button at the bottom there. And you could hit that. Or you can go to the main um, part of my channel and there is a link there as well. So let's scroll down, let's scroll down. Who's all the way with them? Janice is back from her cruise. And I looked at this for a second. It was like a cruise, like somewhere very exotic and lovely. She's really living it up. Mark Headley, who loves to be blown for good. And look at that. Mark Headley was on his channel. Now, let's go back. And maybe I have a little insight as to why Ivor was blocked. You want to you wanna see the real whiz banger here, ladies and gentlemen? Put a one in the chat if you're ready for a whiz banger. Here's the whiz banger is look who started his channel six months ago for Mark Fisher is Mr. Aaron Smith Levin launched Mark Fisher's YouTube channel on a live. Let's have a look, shall office. we? We had a sliding door between our office. There he is. Basically, I was his man at, at the gold base because he was spending most of his time in Los Angeles. I'm not going to lie. That is terribly confusing to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's pick apart some things that we might be assuming people know, or that okay. you might be assuming I know. Aaron. Okay. Um, there seemed to be an implication there that there was some separation between David Miscavige, L. Ron Hubbard. I don't like Liz. That's all. Scientology. She's 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 done some damage around here, uh, as far as reputation, location, you know, she's a piece of shit. The author services, I'm not understanding how all these pieces fit together. Here's some ice and well, uh, they were And again, like I said, Liz Gale didn't even get the offer of her own come towel. Okay? Going through a corporate sword out at the time. And anybody that's listening to her is a total simp idiot. Okay? Seriously. They are all the knitting frickin' Karens over listening to her. All the drones, the zombies, the goons, the weirdos. All right? All the people that listen to this shit without asking any questions. That's who's over there. She's just guiding them with her own little thing, trying to get her, her money, you know? She's clout chasing. She is, as far as what I know, is a never-in. Meaning, she's never been involved. She's never even been in any of these goddamn buildings. She's never even met, I don't think, any of these people personally that was actively a Scientologist, let alone any of these ex-Scientologists. I don't know if that's true for a fact, but it seems that way. I don't see them all in a room together. So, like, what does she got? I was actually there, even though for a brief amount of time I don't consider myself a Scientologist. Never completed any of the courses. I was too high. Okay, so that's really what happened. I never completed anything. 
That's right. I'm like uh, Florida. Thank you, bees knees. A Scottish, uh, isn't that called a takeaway or what? Isn't that called something different there? You call it, you actually call it takeout? Oh, Scottish takeout food. Scottish takeout food. <laughs> the fuck you going to get? You're going to get like a haggis hoagie, a haggis hoagie. But here you see very clearly Aaron Smith Levin. I, I, I don't know if you've heard, know about that, but basically. I mean, I've heard of this it, is a video that was done six months ago, launching this channel from what it looks like, because this is the oldest um, video from this channel that's live. Yeah, they, they basically were trying to separate out. This is when the creation much different. of uh, Religious Technology Center and the Church of Spiritual Technology, and then there was Church Scientology International and Author Services, right? So, but everybody knows that David Miscavige and L. Ron Hubbard. Well, I I don't know I don't know, but I know one thing that they uh, bring you with that. That would be tatties. Bring me some tatties. Who knows what tatties are? Don't give. Don't tell them, Jane. Who knows what tatties? Anybody know what tatties are? And I don't think any British people should answer this. If you're British, you shouldn't be able to answer this one. Only non-British people can answer this. Do you know what a tatty is? Tatties. They had their hands in everything to do with Scientology, even though they were trying to corporately and IRS-wise show that they were hands off. But that was complete BS. I mean, they, they directed everything. So... This Appreciate was basically it. set up as a corporate um, way Will for Bro them Z. to do, you know, That's things cool, in babe. the church and Thank have you. the church pay for them and not L. Ron Hubbard. Do you, little do you bit understand core. what I'm saying? I wish I did. Let's take okay. a step back. So in the beginning. And what people don't understand as they're watching this is that I am, when I review these videos, I have to talk. That's what makes it commentary. That's what makes it a reaction video. If I just sat here and took their video and played it and didn't react, well, what's the point? You can go watch it on their channel, right? But this is commentary. This is a story that I've been covering for a while. I have to speak over it or else it's not fair use. You understand? Beginning, you said something about L. Run. Uh, correct me where I have this wrong. Uh -huh. L. Ron Hubbard said to David Miscavige, you're working for me, but Scientology is going to What are you doing with this guy, Aaron? You. you lost me there totally. What are you doing sitting there with this guy, Aaron? Why are you launching, launching his page? Aaron, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Are you out of your effing freaking mind? Brother died, I believe. I don't know. She was definitely in. Okay, well, that figures then because she's a goon. Um, and they just use her as a one of their big feminine because, you know, and whatever is happening, and I'm not going to talk about her personal issues and whatever's happening with her house, but if any of those people cared, any of these Aaron Smiths or any of those, they would have done something for her, and they didn't. That shows you who they are. Okay. And that sucks. And that's fucked up. Uh, that's exactly, but you have it exactly right. In other words, author services. Yes. Squeak. Bubbling. Janda Panda Treasures, welcome. <coughs> there we go. Yeet, yeet, skirt. Yeet, yeet, skirt. Yeet, yeet, skirt. Roll up. Roll up. Knock that. Did that. Hey. Thank you so much for joining our lovely membership club. You're going to see some great stuff behind there. McDonald's is Scottish food. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This was a separate corporation set up to handle. Our Whoa, hold on a second. Why the hell is he? Is he get, did he just get real sweaty? Like Robert's book. Mom spaghetti. Did you see that? He just. Let's take a okay. step back. So in the beginning, you said something about L. Ron. Uh, correct me where I have this wrong. Okay, so this, if I'm not mistaken, six months ago, this was when A. Aaron was in L.A. This is the L.A. hotel 
that from reports that I got, he was thrown out of because of the incident that occurred in the hotel that you can find a video clip of on Twitter. I'm not showing it here. Okay? And it can't be put in this chat as a clip. All right, upgrading that membership to silver. SPT Scott! Here we go. I think that's an upgrade. Upgrade! Thank you. We appreciate the support. Silver's a good move. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Uh, L. Ron Hubbard said to so David Miscavige, you're working for me, but Scientology is going to create an office for you. You lost me there totally. Uh, that's exactly, but you have it exactly right. In other words, Author Services was a separate corporation set up. Why is he sweating in an air-conditioned hotel room? Well, I could tell you a couple things that make you sweat. Other than alcohol. Shrooms, cocaine. <laughs> like a lot of things can make you sweat like that, man. I don't think it's meth sweats. I don't think he goes that hard. I don't think he goes that hard. I think he does the yayo. From what I heard, he does yayo and mushrooms. He loves the mushrooms <laughs> with menudo. Up to handle L. Ron Hubbard's books and literary works and also his finances, his money, okay? And they, they, they were separating it out from the church. They were this isn't even the zinger of this video, of this live stream, okay? This isn't the zinger. If you think this is, no, you went on the wrong channel. This ain't the zinger, okay? It ain't. But we're going to forward a little bit. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it just recently went through a whole massive renovation. It looks like a, a brand new beautiful school. Yeah, and at the time they were trying to keep, you know, United Churches was the front group for Scientology. People didn't know it was Scientology, so they didn't want to attract any attention. So they all had to go to school. So they're going to school during the day, and when they're not in school, they're some of the senior most executives in Scientology. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. Hmm. <sighs> That's really disappointing that... Uh... That Aaron Smith Levin blocked Ivor because of mentioning this guy. Because what I'm about to show you is going to make you sick. If you haven't barfed already. Now, once again, these are quotes from his blogs. This is actual information. It's from one of the Scientology. I don't listen to the things about why he was thrown out. I don't listen to what Scientology says. What I look for is the quotes, right? If this was not true, Mark Fisher could spend about $1,000 to DMCA this claim and get this off the internet with a lawyer. It's very easy. Less than 1000 bucks. If this was not true, they could have they could have they could have it removed. You understand? But it's true. A lot of these things that these Scientology websites have are true. Even Dougie said that. Dougie, dumb, dumb scumbag. You all really got to check the receipts on these people, man. Why? You know, I don't want you to believe everything. That's why I put the links in my chat. Do they put links in their chat to give you their? Sources and stuff, so you can see it yourself. No, they don't. Why? Me now here. Mark Fisher expelled from the church nearly thirty years ago for acts of sexual perversion, and now Facebook friend of Lawrence Wright. It was Wright who dug up Fisher after all those years to try to corroborate long disproven allegations over three decades old. Living in Las Vegas. Okay, so this is him in Las Vegas. He is a telemarketer. He has a job as a telemarketer, apparently, in Vegas, from what they say here. I don't know. I, I don't know that to be true or not. Reporting himself as a telemarketer, Mark Fisher is a frequent sex tourist and... Okay. 
writer of an online how-to for picking up prostitutes in what Fisher refers to as the land of smiles. In his own words, in Now remember when we, I read some of this earlier, remember from the actual blog. So what they're putting here in quotes is true. We corroborated it. In Thailand, you spend 60 to $75 and are guaranteed action at the end of the night. If you want to have some real fun, order the girl an alcoholic drink, or better yet, a shot of liquor, which will- Okay, we showed these. Now look, there's one coming up, okay? There is one quote coming up from this blog that Core, could you help uh, Miss K444 with her uh, thing there? Here we go. There's one coming up that I'm telling you, you are going to want to go get a baseball bat. All right? I am warning you. Viewer discretion advised. I'll really loosen them up. The main attraction is the girls giving the men oral sex under their bar stools out in the open. Now I want you to look at these pictures. We're going to go back. Okay, so we start here. Okay. It's just, we got to do this again. As a telemarketer, Mark Fisher is a frequent sex tourist and writer. Where is that, Mark? Gosh, Mark, where is that? That doesn't look like it's in a Hooters. Is there a Hooters in uh, Phuket or in Bangkok? I didn't see one there. And you certainly sure as shit will never see a picture of me like this in Thailand. The weirdest thing I did in Thailand was I ate a cobra heart. Okay. Here of an online how-to for picking up prostitutes in what Fisher refers to as the land of smiles. The land of smiles. In his own words, in Thailand. What is he doing there? What? What is Mark Fisher? Let's just, do we have the, the, hold on. I need to move the window cap up. Okay. See, like, what is he doing in this picture with these girls? With what looks like to be holding a number sign in his hand. Is that a goddamn number sign in his hand? Is that a fucking number sign in his hand? Holy shit. I think that's a number sign in his hand, which would be indicative of a purchase. Indeed, misdeed. Like an auction. Thailand, you spend 60 to $75 and are guaranteed action at the end of the night. If you want to have... Here is other girls with his hands groping them in his jizz-covered Hawaiian shirt. some real fun, order the girl an alcoholic drink, or better yet, a shot of liquor, which will really loosen them up. The main attraction is... The main attraction is the girls giving the men oral... Mm, bing, ding, oral 
under their bar stools out in the open. I don't know. I didn't see that any bars in Thailand. I never saw that. But I think that's probably a good thing. Because I, it, it, I would imagine it would be like a particular place that this guy had on his site. And that if other people go there, likely he would make a commission. Put a one in the chat if you think if people went to these brothels that he recommended that he got a commission. Put a one in the chat if you think that's possible. So did some of his funding come directly from the recruiting and trafficking of these vulnerable individuals in a foreign country thinking that they're going to get out of poverty? I mean, he was a Scientology recruiter, right? He's got all the recruiting skills that he needs. And look at that. He is looking in the camera. Well, okay, I'm going to have to zoom in. Okay, he is looking in the camera. And who knows how old these girls are? Who knows? Is the girls giving the men oral sex under their bar stools out in the open? That's disgusting. Okay? I don't give a shit. What it, that is fucking gross. That is like the one of the most. That is like so. What what is this like a glory hole bar, and it's under the bar, and they're standing out in the open, just getting their dicks sucked. You fucking piece of shit. This is your quote from your shit, dude. This is your quote. This is you, Mark Fisher. And let me remind you, okay, just so you know, lest anybody forget. Aaron Smith Levin helped him launch his channel. Okay? Sorry. But this guy right here who talks about the main attraction is the girls giving the men sex under the whatever out in the open is also, keep in mind, also a longtime friend of this man, Jeffrey Augustine. Let's review. This video is from nine years ago. It is an intimate story that he tells Jeffrey Augustine in two parts on his channel. Okay, that is years ago. That's this guy. The main attraction is the girls giving the men oral mm, under their bar stools out in the open. Quote by Mark Fisher, right next to, again, Jeffrey Augustine, who has been gatekeeping this information from his community. Now, stockade. Now, as we continue to look at this, a reminder that Aaron Effin Smith Levin launched his channel. And Here the they are, is, laughing with each other. High school. I mean, laughing. I just graduated. It's funny, isn't school, it? Okay, and I was a national senior funny. honor society. Isn't this hilarious? Isn't this hilarious? Aaron Smith Levin launched this guy's channel. Aaron Smith Levin launched this guy's channel. Aaron Smith Levin, this is for the fucking dummies, launched this guy's channel. Clip it. Aaron Smith Levin launched. This guy's channel, who is friends with this guy, who is responsible for the safety, security, and information dissemination unto this community. So, this guy, okay, who's in the picture, Jeffrey Augustine, with Mark Fisher, 
who's here with this guy who gets his dick sucked out in the open by God knows what uh, aged uh, girls or what commissions he's made off of this. And let us go back to this. This is not an allegation. Okay. So they would they would go to uh, Clearwater High School during the day, and then after that they would stand watch working, you know, for L. Ron Hubbard in the Commerce Messenger Org until they turned sixteen, and then they then they dropped out. Wow, that's incredible! <laughs> I'd never heard that that before. I mean, yeah. I look at him smiling and laughing with like him. Look at him smiling and laughing with him. He's 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 launching. Uh, we, we, Allow me, allow me to review once again. This guy, the main attraction is the girls giving the men oral under their bar stools out in the open guy had his channel launched by Aaron Smith Levin who has blocked Ivor for discussing this guy who's in there with him, who is also this guy, who also knows this guy. Game over. See you on the next one. Ask questions. Trust no one. Not even me. Look it up yourself. Let's go. But I think I showed Yo. you. I'm like an addict. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing. Got a really bad habit. See you next time. Gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. Fix it. Fix it. Got a weird mind. You understand me, Aaron? You fix it.